Hey, it is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful, empowered harmonizers. We are zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth on a trait of psychopathy. Whether this is a male or female, whether this is a co-worker or a family member or a romantic partner, one of the key aspects of someone with psychopathy is that they are antisocial. Um, they are really, you know, even though the appearance that they might be very sociable, affable, out with a lot of people, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Uh, the you can't judge a book by its cover <clears throat> really holds true here. What you see is not what you get. And one of the main aspects I would say that you can identify as a red flag is that they are highly antagonistic. They are antagonistic, which means to antagonize, which means to cause somebody to become hostile. To cause somebody to become hostile. So angry, um, go off the hinges, become triggered, become mean, grit their teeth, become highly agitated. Um, to bark, to bite, whatever it is, to become hostile or aggressive. They will antagonize by causing feelings of dimin diminishment or diminution, meaning they will try to dwarf you, dwarf your intelligence, dwarf your position, dwarf your self-esteem. In other words, to make you feel very, very small or insignificant, and not just to be small, but to feel dwarfed in comparison of. So they will set up a triangulation or a splitting behavior where they will set somebody else to seem bigger, loom larger, more important, more attractive, more influential, and it will cause that sort of knee-jerk reaction, what becomes known as sort of out of character or hostility to antagonize, which means basically to really rough up around the edges, to not bring out your finer points. If a psychopath can help dwarf you, make you feel small, I mean, not just small, we're talking abnormally small, powerless, invisible, then they can get an upper hand and then they have power over your reactions. When you're, you know, leaping to the ledge, then they're going, oh, well, look, I've just caused that person to exit their own strength. I've caught them, I've caused them to abandon their own wisdom. I've caused them to not look at and be grounded and centered in what is right. I've caused them to lose their cool. And so all of a sudden, do you see how this can create a real blame shift where they can provoke and antagonize others? And oftentimes, this is a very deliberate and calculating natural mechanism, meaning automatic mechanism for these individuals. So they will antagonize to provoke and manipulate. It's... it's not about having a relationship. It is purely about being the object of manipulation. They are extremely selfish, but pathologically so, to the point that you can't see, almost you don't have the eyes to see the depth. You don't have the eyes to see the breadth. You don't have the eyes to know the vastness of 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 the selfishness. You don't have the perceptibility. You don't know. You're kind of, it's kind of like, you know, sailing on a sea and you don't have a depth finder. You don't have the tools. It's not in, in, inbred in you. You don't grasp the depth and degree of the severity of the antagonism that they can provoke, meaning to cause you to become hostile. You know, and, you know, I was never a hostile person. Um, I, you know, every, everybody can be prompted to be angered, 
or deflated or saddened or melancholy, but do you see how this is, it lights like a wildfire. It's like a spark that rages a fire that is out of control and you can't put the fire out. It becomes a feeling of being, you know, like losing, you want to jump out of your skin. I mean, these are the angry feelings. And you see how this provoked enough can destroy a person. It can work to destroy a person from the inside out. Even the strongest, most persevering, most steel-willed individual, if they can take this down through anger, through reflecting back um, negative faces, you know, psychopathic grimaces, um, looks that could kill. I mean, it is the dwarfing mentality that they will use to create a, a real sort of perpetual self-sabotaging and self-annihilating mechanism. This is very serious. This is not something that we are joking about lightly. This is why I have I've created the channel. It's because people need to understand that they are antagonized, meaning it's like an enemy. You know, there might be movies, what, Sleeping with the Enemy, or isn't there something like this? I mean, literally, this is what this is. And antagonizing, so they will not only do this to you personally, they will do it to your business, they will do it to your family, they will do it to your community. There, there, they will not, there is no end, there is no stop point, there is no boundary. These people are known for their reckless behaviors, meaning that they will, they have no sense of morality, right or wrong. So when it would be wrong to do something, that doesn't mean that they are not going to do something. Just because it's wrong, it's still okay and right for them. Do you understand you're dealing with someone who has a whole different playbook? Namely, that they can cause you to suffer through antagonism and causing you to be hostile. And then they point the finger at you, telling you that you're crazy, hostile, out of line, not to be related to, not to be trusted, etc. Do you see how they create the story? Do you see how they then run the show? Do you see how they then create facts? Look, you, you know, do you see how this is engineered chaos? You need to identify this. You need to see how this has become a problem and that they will take a peaceful, fun-loving, centered and focused individual. They might have a couple weak spots. This is where they can get in and sort of pull out that loose end that wasn't quite tied on with a super Girl Scout knot, a super Boy Scout knot. They figured out how to undo it. And then next thing that they know, they can unravel the rug and you aren't standing on anything. In fact, they unraveled the roof, they unraveled the business, they unraveled the family. Why would they do this? This is your buddy, Peace and Harmony with you here today. And I hope that these videos do help. Please share, please subscribe, and for goodness sake, please donate for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. Peace out, peace in, peace be with you, and have a beautiful day.